I want to share my journey of building a castle dungeon level in Unity. It's a mix of puzzles, traps and exploration with a dash of medieval ambience. Let's dive into the ups and downs and everything in between. The starting point. When I got the assignment to create a level in Unity, I was thrilled. Given a couple of asset packs from Synthly Studios, my mind immediately jumped to the idea of a medieval castle dungeon. Think dark corridors, like ancient prison cells and a grand treasure room at the end of the long journey. I was determined to create something that would make players stop and think, not just run and slash. Portal 2 was a major source of inspiration for me. The puzzles, the creativity, and the blend of story and gameplay were all things I wanted to bring into my project. The mood board I put together reflected this. With a color palette that varied from airy greens to vibrant oranges depending on the room's theme. Early sketching and blockouts. I started with some basic sketches, laying out the main hall and the rooms branching off from it. I envisioned a complex level with multiple paths, secrets and of course traps. The idea was to challenge the player with puzzles that required both brain power and a little bit of agility. My early blockout used basic shapes and a simple layout to map out the level structure. It was rough but it gave me a sense of how the different areas would connect. However, blockouts are a reality check. My initial design was too simple, and it didn't quite capture the mystery and complexity I was aiming for. So it was back to the drawing board. Working in Unity was a new experience for me, as I had no prior experience with any game engine or coding of any kind. The interface was, however, intuitive, but it had its quirks. My initial testing phase was a mix of excitement and frustration. Objects didn't always snap into place as I wanted, and my first scripts were, let's say, a bit temperamental. But I persisted, learning how to use Unity's basic tools, shade, texture, and lighting objects to bring my level to life. During early testing, I focused on simple animations and triggers, creating doors that opened, chests that unlocked, and traps that could be activated by players. It was all about finding that balance between challenge and fun. Some experiments worked, and other, well, not so much. After my initial foray into Unity, I realized I needed to rebuild the level with a clearer vision. The new layout had more structure and better flow. I created a central dining hall that served as a hub, connecting different compartments where players could explore. I also added a little fog of war element to limit visibility, giving the level a more air and mystery and suspense. This time around, I focused on adding features like traps, moving boxes and NPC guards with specific behaviors. I also wanted the player to feel like they were navigating a real dungeon, with real dangers. The traps range from classic spike traps to moving platforms, adding a sense of danger in every turn. So now that we have start of a level, I wanted to implement a story, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> Henry lived in a small town and worked as a blacksmith. Henry had for the longest time been longing for a change in his life. One night, a strange man came into the town holding an ancient map with directions to the Heart of Stone, said to be able to heal and transform whatever it comes in contact with. Henry requested that the stranger bring him with him on his adventure. The stranger and Henry walked for days to find the location on the map. The map was indicating that the dungeon was nearby, but they were in the forest with no castle to be seen. All of a sudden, they heard creaking sounds from underneath as the vines took hold of the strange man and dragged him away. Henry kept falling on the way down. He lost both his map and his weapons before hitting the stone floor. 
This is when the player starts the game. So, it was ready for this first playtest. I shared my level with some of my friends for playtesting and the feedback was invaluable. They pointed out some issues with some NPC behaviors, task clarity and some script inconsistencies. One friend mentioned that the NPC guards seemed to be wandering off on their own adventure instead of patrolling as intended. So I had to refine the NPC script so that they would move in the correct path. This feedback loop was crucial in shaping the final version of the level. It taught me that no matter how good your initial plan is, there is always room for improvement. In the final stretch of the project, I worked on polishing the level design, fixing bugs and refining the UI. I created a treasure collection system to encourage exploration by hitting artifacts that the players would collect throughout the dungeon. The inventory system was improved to track keys, giving players a clear sense of progression. Looking back, building this level was a journey of creativity and problem solving. I learned the importance of adaptability and the value of feedback. Sometimes the best ideas come from the most unexpected places and it's crucial to keep an open mind. Throughout this experience I discovered the building, uh, that building a level is much more than just arranging assets and creating scripts. It's about storytelling, engagement and bringing the environment to life. I learned that even the smallest details can significantly impact the player's experience from the way light is being portrayed in the level to random UI pop-ups. These elements create atmosphere that transports players to another world. One of the most rewarding aspects of this journey was seeing my ideas take shape and watching others interact with them. It made me realize that game development is a collaborative process. Even if you build something on your own, it's the input from playtesters and the community that ultimately shapes the final product. So this level was my first step into game development and it was both challenging and um, incredibly fulfilling. As uh, for the future, I hope to make um, maybe some more advanced AIs and uh, some NPC behaviors, maybe following some nav meshes. The possibilities are endless and I'm eager to keep learning and pushing my creative boundaries. Be patient and embrace the learning curve. <laughs> Mistakes are a given, but each one is an opportunity to improve and learn. Surrounding yourself with people who can provide constructive feedback and don't be afraid to scrap an idea if it's, and start over if it's not working, it's all part of the process. So that's my story of building a dungeon level in Unity.